Minimal Games here, and pardon the Bray Wyatt appearance of this week's drama script Saturday. Uh, I didn't have enough time to film this during the daytime, so the lighting in my room is pretty horrible because I only have the one lamp. Hence the why this looks like Bray Wyatt's promo from SmackDown. But on to WWE scripted news. Uh, once again, SmackDown is the far better show. Uh, the consistent build-ups between Randy Orton and Bray Wyatt, the consistent build-ups between John Cena, Dean Ambrose, and AJ Styles, which that as a triple threat match for No Mercy, uh, continuing build-ups between Alyssa Bliss and Becky Lynch, but we're going to compare uh, Raw and SmackDown yet again for the second straight drama script set in Raw. Now, let's take the first match from Raw. Rusev versus Roman Reigns. Now mind you, Raw starts with Rusev already in the ring and Roman Reigns theme song just hits. So it is no announcement of a rematch, no anything. It's just Rusev is already in the ring and Roman Reigns music comes out and the, the, the Michael Cole whatever says that this is a rematch. Horrible match, nothing spectacular. 30 minutes just to end in a double DQ. Compared to SmackDown's main event. Roughly, I think it was a 20, 25 minute match. Uh, yes, AJ Styles just blatantly hit John Cena in the face. And John Cena got up on the apron. Which caused, you know, a distraction. So, AJ Styles had enough time to pop out the pin. And then, Dean Ambrose got upset at John Cena. And then, it, AJ Styles with a roll up. And AJ Styles win. So at least the match had a finish with distraction. But the, it didn't matter who won that match anyway. Because it's a triple threat. But that 25 minutes with that finish. Was still a better match than the kickoff. Raw match. Then let's go to the Cesaro and Sheamus thing. Which on Class of Champions ended in no contest. And then for Mick Foley just to make them a tag team. So WWE's wasted 90 days of my life on a build. Well, it hasn't been three months. Let me stop. Let's say 45. Okay, 45. WWE's wasted 45 days of my life on this seven best of seven series. Well, well, best of four, first of four series. For nearly a month and a half, just to end it in a no decision, and just to make them as a tag team. So it's like John Cena and Shawn Michaels and John Cena and with Batiste all over again. Two people that are stuck, that are put together as a tag team that hate each other, and they, at this point, I don't know if they're going to win the tag team champs to take it from New Day. Raw is still, still all over the place for no reason, and we still don't know why Triple H gave uh, Kevin Owens the title, even though Seth Rollins has a rib injury. And I'm assuming it's going to be Seth Rollins versus Kevin Owens at the next Raw pay-per-view, which I don't even know what it is. I just know it's two weeks after No Mercy. I want to say it's Hell in the Cell, but I'm not sure. Do not quote me on that. I'm, I'm really not sure. But SmackDown's a better show. The Bray promo, the whole Rain You Are Bray segments was great. Uh, main event match was great. Uh, Heath Slater and Rhino are amazing. Matches was great. SmackDown is is just the better show, all around. But now for some some sad undrama scripted news. Uh, Jamie Noble apparently got into a minor car accident, like very very minor. And he tried to talk it out with the two other people that he was in the accident with that was in the other car. And they winded up stabbing him. And this all took place, believe it or not, in West Virginia in a trailer park. So Jamie Noble apparently really lives in a in a trailer park still in West Virginia. So he's he's currently listed in stable condition. Um, I hope he gets better and I hope he recovers soon. But that's going to wrap this up for this week's Drama Script Saturday. Remember, this is a Drama Script Saturday every Saturday. And if you like what you have witnessed, please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And I'm Game Feed for No Games, and I'm out of here. Later, and peace.